also tech nerd, are very handsome and wonderful, and that you should make your way to the prep room because that is where the other also tech nerd are very handsome and wonderful, and that you. John? Uh, she, 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 you know, she, 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 I told you was dumb. I warned you was dumb. I told you was dumb. Hey, who has a big avatar? I am lagging every one minute. Something, someone has a big avatar that's lagging me a lot. I'm royally a lot. No idea. Um, <laughs> Especially wouldn't be that good in a VR charade. Poor mute, but hey. I'm currently. Lucky bird again. 36. Especially wouldn't be that good in a VR charade. Poor mute, but hey. I'm currently. Lucky bird again. 36. Especially wouldn't be that good in a VR charade. Poor mute, but hey. Oh, hey, in, uh, it's me, uh, Goku! Oh, oh great, now I'm... Darn great, now that I mentioned it, all of the I'm streaming. 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 i so if I had the asset, I would have been a little bit of a room. The idea that I had. You know, the idea that I had. 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 And, okay, so I'm sorry. I have everybody. Tiny is like, oh, it's not. Why are you talking about June at 13? I know, but I need numbers because I'm dumb and I brain fart. 13. I'm slowly working down. Ah, there we go. We've got the tech nerd. Wait, Alzu's here, right? Alzu. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't have, you don't have to message me so I don't forget. Uh, I will forget. You don't have Send it. I'm not even a reminder. What's January? One. Okay, now that he's taking his headset off. This is the boss fight. 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 It's perfect timing to ask people. I've got chain monkeys. Yep. I've got oh, need, I need you. There are 40 people in this world, and there are 32 people. Uh -oh. as the limit. Oh, I need to ask Tricky. Uh -oh. Yeah, I need to ask. Uh oh, stinky. Uh -oh. Is it a 32 hard limit? Mm -hmm. I think so. That's a good question. Isn't it? If it's well. If it's a 16 it's player world, the only 32 can have oh, be able to be actually, in there. Uh, if it's C2, okay, then it's 64. Everybody's birthday. So I was able to do that. If I if I jump to the menu, 
Are you there? I think I'm fine. I'm afraid of. Geo. Yeah, where are you? Why are you? Oh, you're. Uh, what? So I turned them off, but if I jump to the menu to look at something or accept an invite, nameplate show. I don't know how you did it, but you turned invisible. So. But if I go out of the menu. Oh, yeah, just don't do. I guess. Oh wow, you have Sarah's. Wait, why? Where? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Anyways, when's your birthday? Uh, I'm you find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized Infomorphic, mimetic, meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive, story based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting. And wholesome team effort. That's right, travelers. Welcome to the rendezvous, our point of contact to the narrative domain. Welcome to the greatest adventure you will ever go on in virtual reality. And travelers, it is my honor to introduce to you... <coughs> The greatest voice actor doing, to ever walk the virtual halls of chat. Yes, here Why? with us today is the one, yes, be done. The, the only, Trey Gem, the tour guide. It's never turn. Good evening, friends. Ow. And welcome to the tale of the scavenger, part two. If you haven't seen part one of the scavenger, don't worry, you can still enjoy this instance as a standalone narrative. My friends, I have four rules for you tonight. Please listen carefully. Bless you. Number one, tonight's instance will be invite plus. Please, therefore, make sure your status is orange or red. You may add any or all of us tour guides as friends because you'll need to send us an invite request to get in. Number two. As your tour guide this evening, I politely ask that you remain with me at all times. Number three. While narration is occurring, Kindly become silent, but you are welcome to converse as we traverse from point to point. And number four. My friends, this one is important. Unfortunately, and there is nothing we can do about this at this stage, the world we are going to has a hard limit, a hard cap of 32. We have more than that here tonight. That means... Unfortunately, we must do first in, first served. But my friends, please do not despair and accept my sincerest apologies. We will be running this tour 
as many times as it takes for you all to be satisfied. If you don't get in tonight, please, make sure you have joined our Discord so that you can see future events. This tour will be going for a while. We are also planning on a private showing for patrons of this tour, hopefully sometime this month. Now, those in front of me, kindly step aside so that I have space to drop tonight's portal. Rex, Lightful, Rainbow, apologies, please step aside. Not good. They seem to be hit the perfect front. I will wait. You better get in there. <laughs> My friends, two and thirty. Please do not enter the portal until I give the signal, in case the portal despawns on Just its own. Tip. My friends, the portal is stable. Please. The dog just got like the the satyr. Okay, all right. Give me a second. Does anyone else know where I start going? Blue 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 blue
back to that tomorrow. Slowly but surely. I gotta find some old people now. Some of the OGs. Cold? And I still have deadlines too. Like, I have yeah, the OGs of VRT. I haven't, I have some of them I never even talked to, but I still want to add in to the, the thing. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not. <laughs> I started in 2019. Cell brought me to the VRT, so I'm not sure how much longer it was run before that, so. Yeah, but you've been around. I'm, I'm mostly doing people that have been, or like, that have been here, and okay. everybody kind of knows selectively. And you're you're one of the people I, I don't get to see too often, so I was like, I, I gotta catch some people in the tour one of these days. Mm -hmm. And I, this is the tour. But I'm getting, I've got a fair bit of people today, though. I'm super cool. happy. Well, you always could ping me on Discord if you want it. So. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to intrude on people and start DMing people through the like. That's, I believe that's one of the rules where you're not supposed to. Mm. But I, I'm gonna probably have to eventually. But for now, I'm just gonna do the tour and that stuff until I get to kind of a final selection. Okay. Because your name is just on the list. I just. Well, I could just do it the easier way. Just don't give it a, a year. Just five one. Okay. That's perfect. That's all I need, actually. Okay. Yeah. So, so um, this is an interesting. Shh. Hey guys. Wait, 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 wait. She's, she's so late. Talk. She's so late. Talking. What is talking? We are due to begin. Please make sure that you can hear me and the world's music. Take a moment to check its volume. Is it copyrighted music? <laughs> I don't think so. It's very faint. I sadly wouldn't be able to tell you, but it's very soft. Hmm. Okay. Well, so I'll make sure. Because oh. I'll probably get copyright struck if it is on YouTube, so. I didn't even know My friends, I have a couple more notes for you. This world, as you can see, is quite dark. It's also not very kind to you. As such, please exercise the utmost caution not to fall off the map at any point, not to fall into the water. If you do, you'll be brought back here and there are no shortcuts. Cool. I may know my way around this map, but you likely do not, and it may be difficult to bring you back to the group. I repeat, do not fall in the water. Additionally, you'll see a small creature here, behind me, and perhaps other interactable objects. Please, click nothing unless instructed. That's a kick here. And now, my friends, without further ado, the story begins. The scavenger is on a mission to save the overseas realm people from extinction. Where he comes from, people live in airships held above a sea of ether clouds by great creatures called titans. When a titan reaches the end of its current life stage, it descends into the cloud sea to become a demigod in the sub-sea realms. But this descent through the ether sea kills anybody who was relying on the Titan for survival. Humans cannot survive the descent through the ether sea. Which begs the question, how is the scavenger currently descending? He, his crewman friend, and a gunner sent by the Admiral are all aboard the Ganador. A vessel of unknown origin, its hull infused with ether and not reliant on a titan for buoyancy, 
or movement. It is, for all intents and purposes, a submarine designed for the depths of the ether sea. Their goal is to find a blue titan egg which will act as the egg for new titans, to restore balance to the oversea realm. They have been descending for hours. The scavenger hears nothing but the hum of the Ganador's engines, and whatever conversation occurs spontaneously between the three. It's a dull descent, but in the back of his mind sits a seed of anxiety. What's out like outside the ship? What could possibly exist down here to be a god over? Does anything live here? Are there hundreds of wreckages of sunken airships? Thousands? Corpses of titans, mountains of human bones? He shudders at the thought and tries to shake it from his mind. But the dark images persist. After a short while, the gunner says he hears something. They all stop what they're doing and listen. There is a noise. It sounds like something being plucked from the outside of the hull over and over, and the periodic tapping of something much harder. The sound echoes through the small interior, and the scavenger becomes acutely aware of how reliant they are on the integrity of the Ganador's infused chassis. Suddenly alarms go off. The whole vessel lurches to one side, something pulls hard at it. All three of them are thrown to the ground. The scavenger scrambles for the oxygen tanks and masks kept in the cabinet as everything turns red from warning lights. Steel screams and then... Silence. Blackness. An unknown length of time passes. The scavenger slowly regains consciousness. He notices the air. Even through his diving suit, he can feel how cold and clammy the air here is. He opens his eyes and tries to sit up. His body aches and stings, but his limbs are intact. Nothing seems broken. He... Wait. Why is he in a cave? How did he get here? He looks around. There's no sign of any wreckage, and the crewmen and the gunner aren't here. But... Who's that? There is a person. N no, it's it's not a person. It's humanoid. But the scavenger can see tentacles, arms like a squid, and it's holding a spear. What is this thing? It's standing right nearby, but it's not looking at him. He feels as though he's being held captive. His mask and oxygen tank are still attached and functioning, but he's been spending air lying here for however long. He checks the gauge. Oxygen is at 85% capacity. That's not good. He 
can't just sit here indefinitely. Quietly, he gets to his feet and wields the robust oxygen tank as a weapon, and he sneaks up on the squid man. With all his might, he swings the steel object into the squid man's head and collapses in a heap, twitching before going still. The scavenger focuses on his goals. He needs to find that blue titan egg. He needs to find his crewman friend and the gunner. He needs to locate the ganador, all before he runs out of air. My friends, your decisions tonight are costly. Waste your oxygen and the scavenger will suffocate. But if you hold on to it for too long and make insufficient progress, the scavenger may survive. But what will you achieve? The scavenger walks through the cave. My friends, follow me. Oh, I can't wait to find it. risks. Oh, feels like it's been Time to play some risk. Well, quite a few months. Time to play some D and D, bro. I Heck know, yeah. Right? Draw a mental map in case I do fall. You shouldn't. All right, I'm switching to a light know. bulb. That luck might strike like last time. I'm gonna probably be hitting on many people. No. Oh, I want my light bulb. Get going here. I want to be able to uh, a little bit. Supposed mm -hmm. you have an idea. I wonder where we are now. I'm not gonna look at the world, just what world we're in. Because I wanna be surprised. Wow. Oh. 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 Here we oh. go. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get too close to that. Just case we are chat bugs. <laughs> <laughs> The other secrets are hidden. It's not really a light for me, but still, I had to do it. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> oh, shit. This place. This place gives the scavenger a bad feeling. He looks about at all the wreckages of older vessels, the thin layer of gray mist permeating everything. Tattered sails and ropes hanging motionless. What is this place? It must be where vessels from the overseas realms settle when they sink. This must be the bottom of the ether sea. Yes, this fog. It must be ether or something. But where are all the people who die going down? Where are all the bodies of titans? He thinks briefly of his father, and the hairs on the back of his neck prick up. Something isn't right, but this scavenger does not have time to ponder. My friends, Please follow me. This way. Over the other way. Indeed. See, so look at all that water down there. Are we jumping? Nope. No, that oh, was a test. Okay. That was a test to see if you would jump ahead, and if you did jump ahead, you failed. You failed! <laughs> yep, good job. you. Who knew you first got a joke in now? You must very carefully follow the Trajan. 
Uh, maybe there shouldn't be such a small avatar. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Yeah, it'll be oh, fine. Sounds yeah, pretty yeah, sussy to me, but it's suspicious. Let's not worry don't about the semantics. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> what if I want to be sus? Whoa. Well, oh, since sus. you said it, you're Bring sussy. military folks to such good listeners. <laughs> Not the sus word. <laughs> They've been sus. trained to listen. <laughs> this is true. I do. I have trained my troops to listen. Well, except for Shadow, he's not my friend. He belongs to my friend. I also trained men to listen. Nice. Excuse me, that I like this <gasps> Including the other keys. people's intention spans. Oh, dear. Gee. I also want to see what happens if we run out of air, because I think I just got a theory we die. on why they don't, uh, we're not... Yeah, we die! Okay. But, what happens to our <laughs> corpse? Would you, oh, wow, would you wow. we phased through a wall, oh. it's made of goo. Yeah, no, uh, For magical, yeah, okay? Because it's like, right, okay, turn on wall I got an idea here, hear me out. We just, uh, there's, there's no corpses sit. down sit. here, right? Sit. No bones or anything. Don't sit. The ether does its thing. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Yeah, that's the all I was just thinking. Like, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. It's Trajim's powers that allow us to face the object. I don't feel so good, Mr. Star. I just pissed myself. Oh. What the fuck? Why? How? Shut I have questions now? Good lord. This man just scared the shit out of me. Lieutenant, <laughs> go change your pants! <laughs> Bruh! Bruh. Bruh. Lieutenant, why are you peeing your dress uniform? Huh? What are you I doing? Paul didn't break any bones. No, he what? went to, he he went to no, no, finally like, bruising. Five push-ups right now, let's <laughs> go. Oh, 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 Jesus, one, two, Well, he has to go change three, his pants. Four. So... I am It was a fucking joke. He oh. fell. <laughs> Sheen fell. Oh, 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 oh no. Sheen, Sheen fell. No. Someone fell. And he can't get him. <laughs> what? Life alert. I remember that. Life alert. I'm sure it's money. I've fallen Sheen and I can't fell. get him. Oh, no. Yeah, I know what that is. That's, that's Z fighting. Can we get the money from the insurance? Yikes. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please shut up. I'm <laughs> sorry. God, Lieutenant. No, wait, no. <laughs> you need like My a clear emotion whenever that happens. <laughs> this <clears throat> cave. Is occupied. A scavenger can hear noises. A strange language. And a human voice. Through this door, which is ajar. If he was held captive by one of the squidmen, the others could be as well. My friends, this is your first decision. The gunner or crewman may be behind this door somewhere, but checking will consume more oxygen than not, and may have additional consequences. Mm. Will the scavenger look, or will he keep moving? I have to keep moving. You have one minute to discuss. I have to keep moving. I'm thinking mm. keep moving. Yeah. It's not... I think it can see, see, unless we have seen, see. unless we have had evidence that they're there, so, they're there. Yeah. I'd say we should just them. keep oh, going. Yeah. At this point, I say there is no hard evidence. It's only by a voice. I kind of want to check. We would have to check. I say we keep going. Keep going. I mean, they might, since they're human, they might also have hot. We have less than a minute, so consensus. We need to know what the. 
Raise your hand if you, get, if you want to continue. Raise your hand if you want to continue. Said for using information. Take a poll. So the first time just take a poll. Who wants to, who wants to you know, stay and look, or who wants us to continue on? He heard a weird language and a human voice. I'm not giving you any more information. Wait. Right, but it's oh, a human voice. Can I roll an inspection check? Yes. No. So I say we go and investigate. Every bit of information we get will help us in the future. I feel like for the sake of any experiment, it's down here what every choice does. Our time is almost up. We need to make a decision. Congratulations. That is potentially my friends. Your attention, please. A simple vote should suffice for those who want to check this door. Please gather around me. For those who don't, please gather around Sheen over there. What's Sheen? But we can't oh, see oh, Sheen. Sheen. Uh, okay. Sheen's oh, this way, by the way. You can't. This yeah, way. I have nameplates off, so I can't see where Sheen is. <laughs> Get better eyes. Oh, well, great. Looks like wow, a shadow. Expect wow. something. Okay, so yes. Typical of the armored. With your heart to say, your attention. Oh, we do some math here. Uh, my friends. Uh, down here. Uh, it is evident. We started with 82%, right? Shh. Sorry. The majority have voted to inspect the room. Yeah. Friends, Good job, friends, guys. <laughs> Just gonna move on without uh, a comment on that. I, I see, I see. Ooh, and our three more acts. Why does it look like a Stargate room? Well, we had 85%. We're going to find out how much we use that for this. The poll, my life, for just so I can... We started guys, with 85%. A lot of cool stuff up here. You guys got to come see... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the bones! I knew it! <laughs> that was going to happen. Time I've seen you break your oh, legs, no, no, man. We should have a poll on the Discord. How many times... How many times the L-Man breaks his bones? He caught the mostly leg. Mostly I can see that. There is no time to mourn. Bill Man is dead. Just fine! decides to investigate. He peers through the door. Inside are several squid men arguing about something the scavenger cannot understand. And he can see cages with somebody reaching through the bars of the back right corner cage. The scavenger sneaks towards some boxes nearby, makes sure he wasn't noticed and then heads to the boxes near the stairs, climbing up to get a better look. And he finds a stranger. The scavenger doesn't recognize the man, and he looks unusual. Something about him is off. His skin looks unusually slimy. The scavenger can't do anything about it. He has no weapon, and there are too many squid men. He turns and creeps back out the way he came. Oxygen is at 75%. Um, okay, so that's probably I a thing help. we shouldn't do captured. next time. That's that doesn't seem to be bad, yep. That's a full 10% gone. Yep. Yeah. A lot of hyperventilating is what I hear right now. Ooh, I should write notes. <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah, breathe. breathe. That is a good idea, Dermot. Yeah, take some notes. Yeah, hyperventilating. I'm recording too. I'm recording too, so you can compare notes later. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
I'm gonna take notes fast though. Okay. What? <laughs> no. Wait, is this your first time on the tour, dude? No, it's not. What? This is everyone's first. This is everyone's. This is a, yeah. it's a brand new tour. <laughs> The tour that has only been accessible to absolute Hello. newcomers. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Good people are here. Yeah, I don't know what the heck's being ignored. I'm not dead, guys. I'm totally alive. <laughs> the scavenger comes to another intersection. Through another door, he can hear more noises, more squidmen. My friends, perhaps you've noticed a pattern. There is another choice to be made here. These creatures, these squid people, seem prevalent in this subsea realm. The crewman Organa might also be somewhere inside this door. But checking will consume more oxygen and may have additional consequences. You have a minute to discuss whether it is worth looking or whether the scavenger keeps moving keep moving let's continue the way that i should get some information we know we can lose 10% of all our oxygen that's very we need that information to get some like i like data yeah we're gonna run out of air anyway so let's explore as much as we can we're at 70 percent you're picking up background so 30 percent so if we check if we check again it's another 30 percent it's because i have my fan on it's super hot here yeah you can okay Mm, I feel like if we keep checking these doors, doors sure, we might yeah. find some valuable stuff for next run of this, but... Which is a better choice, because we don't yeah. know anything about it. Yeah, but... Yeah, remember, if we refuse all information, this... we're going to make no progress. Yeah. We're gonna... But, yeah. but keep in mind... We're going to need to solve we... over multiple attempts. Well, keep in mind, we lost 3% yes. of oxygen in one choice, so if we make the same choice again, we're going to lose... 10%. Okay, 10%. 10%. I did the yeah. math. So yeah. every choice yeah. we make, we're going to lose 10%. Yeah. 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 Lucky I had my on. We might get a homing wall rat, so why not? I was just a little bit of a Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, that works quite well at getting your attention. As before, gather around me. If you wish to check the room and spend oxygen, gather around Sheen if you want to scurry on. I guess this is technically Hello. gather on Ragnaros because Sheen is right where Ragnaros is. Uh, yeah. What? Can I <laughs> turn into, like, find the no, Sheen's next to you. It, you're probably easier to see than Sheen is. Oh, yeah, so Alright, I'll just stand over here so then. It'll just be a matter of figuring out could. which ones have people in them that we want to save. My friends, it is evident we are checking. Again? Please follow me. 10% of oxygen gone. Watch us open one of these and die instantly. Hey, old man. I yeah. Data mine. Data mine. That would be valuable. Data mine. Oh, boy. It wouldn't be good for the... For the... It wouldn't be good for this attempt, but it would be good for every future attempt. Yeah. I'd be sorry for the scavenger, however. Yeah. We're not going to end well for the scavenger, but... The no, great people bow, bef bow before us. No, no. The scavenger decides to investigate. He peeks through the next door. There are a few squidmen gathered at the top of a platform, distracted by something. The scavenger sneaks to some nearby barrels, waits until they aren't looking, and makes his way to the next room which appears empty. He creeps closer, his eyes adjusting to the dark. 
Wait. There does appear to be someone in one of the cells once more. He hurries over. It is his friend, the crewman, and his air supply seems to be intact. The scavenger pulls the lever to open the door, releasing his friend from the prison. The crewman looks very happy to see him and asks what happened. The scavenger isn't sure. Something hit the Ganador, and then it must have crashed somewhere. Perhaps these squidmen found them and captured them. The crewman says he hasn't seen the gunner at all. After making sure his friend isn't injured, the scavenger and crewman continue on their way. They still need to find the Titan Egg, the gunner, and the Ganador, with 70% oxygen. My friends, well done. But oxygen is getting lower and lower. Please, follow me. Yeah, this, Onward, is, this is how we're going to... Yeah, I mean, victory. Totally victory. Right, so totally it's totally totally yeah. Yeah. This, this is how we're going to solve it. Yeah. We whooped and they made on them. Now we can stay underwater forever. Let's loot them. <laughs> I'm writing everything. What? <laughs> oh, right. Mole hex. Exactly. What are we playing? Splatoon? So is this week's theme for Trajan yeah, wall hack gym? Considering that we're doing, <laughs> using wall hacks to go through out. all of our doors. Doors work differently down here. Yeah. The Aether just lets us through. <laughs> the doors here are not. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, just like beans? Considering how dark it is? No. We wow. go in. Oh my god. Uh -huh. I should have spun. I didn't. That's sick spin, though. Yeah. I messed my controller, died, and didn't even hit it right. Stop hiding behind the hypercube. Hey, you are, Lieutenant Bub. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Upon exiting the cave, there comes a strange noise. The mist muffles and distorts it. The scavenger peers up at the grayness. A shape soars across the sky. A ship. A ship without a titan. A Tornan ship. Wait. How did the Tornans get down here? The scavenger thinks back to when the Tornan commander tried to steal that blue titan egg for himself. The scavenger did stop him and the commander was arrested. And yet, here the Tornans are. And how did they even get here? Could they descend into the ether sea all along? The crewman points out something on the side of the flying Tornan ship. He points out a strange opening, what looks like some sort of intake fan. Perhaps it has something to do with how that thing can fly down here, he suggests. And the Tornan ship moves away. It was probably too far to notice them. Oxygen is at 65%. And we need to keep moving. Okay. We're just exiting that area to bleach ten percent oxygen. Man, some hyperventilating shit, you know what I'm talking about. Bud? Man, I wish I could go swimming right now. Same here. <laughs> Please don't. Yeah. Beast, I will throw you in the water. Totally won't we'll get teleported back to the beginning of the map. Do not only totally don't the die. Water. Please do not. I will the throw my C. The rule. Please do my CO in the water. I do not care. You t you don't throw your commanding <laughs> officer in the water, Beast. That's not how that works. I'm the one that throws that's you in the water. Works. 
Wow, that, that is a great level. leadership. What if he you want know what? Want they want to be right. Right. Want, you know what, like, you take that into Do you want PT for the rest of your life? Non-stop? That PT? post-Germanic stress deal <laughs> over. He's already to the news. Two days hot. God. That's alright, you'll be done by the time Why you're 25. You anger the commander. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, I argue against my commander all the time. I'm just kidding. Did the military? Oh yeah, no, the commander. The commander for the commander of our forces is my boyfriend. He's far worse. Oh jeez. Oh, I thought you were. Oh jeez, I mixed up ranks, didn't I? Oh, I'm the lieutenant colonel. Huh? Everyone has two shadows here. And I'm a lieutenant. Small. Which one's an actual shadow and which one's an evil shadow? The scavenger pauses on a gravelly slope. Movement on the nearby wreckage has caught his eye. He sees a figure roaming there, wandering, almost drifting in an unseen, gentle current. Humanoid, yet somehow not. The scavenger finds himself staring at it. Something about it captures his mind, holds it prisoner, until it moves out of sight and the scavenger gasps and regains control of himself. Who was that? What was that? And why? Did it feel so familiar? Oxygen is at 60%. Mind flares, wonderful. I want to go into the brain scorcher. Oh boy, mind flares. I've like one of those before. Like the brain scorcher? What's that, Shadow? A very painful death when I took I off my helmet in front of a mind flare. I swear I'm going down the rabbit hole explaining the entirety of lore of this stalker series of games. Going okay, you know what, Shadow? Never mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to know, get Shadow. That, get that, I changed. I changed my mind, Lieutenant. <laughs> Get out of your stalker. I know Pedro Anacosia. Oh my god. You, are, you gonna, are you two going to start speaking Russian on me? Privyat Oh god, I speak squid. Oh dear, here we go. Call you more, Pujat. And as someone speaking Animal Crossing. I will turn you both into femboys, so go away. <laughs> Stop it. I was oh, already the designated femboy. Shut up. They're, trust me, they're not going to say so enough, ladies. Crossing. The Mongo will give you the femboy glow up, okay? Lady, lady, I'm lady, sure I'm already say so enough, server. okay? I don't need any more say so. I. I. Jesus Christ, what kind of military are you guys running? I, my brain was somewhere else when I heard people talking I about think I just saw some femboy is ancient. What the fuck is happening here? Oh, Lord. Don't, <laughs> <try. laughs> don't don't hurt your head. Oh, this thing is stuck. Dang. There's a hole here. Break my legs and fall into the water. Oh, you, you are you saying you almost pulled a me? You did not <laughs> almost break your legs and fall into the water. In fact, you rejoin the group be your XL. time. Uh, not your XL, your XL. <laughs> I think Sheen is inhaling too much ether. <laughs> I guess you could say Sheen is high. Oh, oh! Just kidding. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I'm not implying anything. The deck of the shipwreck is quiet. The water below completely motionless. For there is no wind. Every plank creaks beneath his feet. There is something ahead, something in mid-air, something is 
appearing out of nowhere right before him. That same figure from before, of colored skin shining in the wet mist, tattered clothing brushing the deck, drifting, eerily spectral, ghost-like. And it doesn't seem to notice him. Its voice comes abruptly, like a gasp for air, and it speaks. It speaks of the sound of the void, of, of nothingness, of not wanting to die. It speaks of wanting to go back, of not wanting to be here. And then, it vanishes, dissolving into the air. The scavenger finds himself tearing up. Why is he crying? Is he sad for the apparition? Or is there more to it? Oxygen is at 55%. This way, friends. I just realized I've had a mango on my head the whole time here. Oh, yes, you have. Yep, been. quite indeed. Mind the hole. The mango. Yeah. Mind the gap. That's what she said. Is that like a cryptocurrency, you guys? Uh, <laughs> What is I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I could not help myself. I had to say it. I'm so sorry. Okay, you... <laughs> Shut up. You're not innocent. This is why beast. I need to be the EXO. This is why I need to be the EXO. I need to limit my CO. Please, I would be worried if you would be the CO. Or EXO. Actually, no, I'm still worried. <laughs> uh, I was hoping the CO of the You know what, Beast? Bees, you can comment on my that's what she said comment after you find yourself some bitches, okay? Ah. Uh, this is. Uh, fuck you, lady. Need bitch or some bitches. This is totally a I don't need maidens. There's no sub September, anyways. That's alright. Bees is my sibling. It's fine. Oh boy. Well, I failed no sub September. Congratulations, you're not based. Way. Dick. What's that? A head in the sky, coming right this way. Oh. It's the Torna scout vessel. Everyone, get behind these rocks quickly. Okay. What if I want to die? Ah oh, yes, let's all die. That's this a good idea, right? Comes closer. And closer. Its hum distorted by the mist, the sound becoming a muffled wail. And then. <laughs> it passes overhead and turns away out of sight. It must be circling, looking for something. Or someone. Were they followed down here when they descended? Or are they just looking for the blue titan egg as well? Oxygen is at 50%. And the scavenger keeps moving. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck was that? You pull something? It was a fuck. <laughs> yes, I did pull something. I pulled my leg. You idiot. Like there was a decision there as well for us. So, you know, maybe one of these. Maybe. If we don't. Maybe. If we don't hide. Well, maybe we'll see I think we just next. kept destroying. We die. May, might just fail. For some maybe reason, I feel like I'm in the shot. Final Fantasy map. I'll add that as a possible choice. We'll see. Actually, wait, this might actually be the like Final Fantasy XIV dungeon. I have this no is, idea. Well, considering this is from Final Fantasy XI, actually. Oh, XI. Right. Okay, that's why it looks a little familiar. 
similar style. No, this is the subsea realm of the scavenger too. You're correct. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're correct. I think we know which one's the right one here. They're both wrong. Eh, yeah, technically. Ah. Technically. In another narrative. I am right as well. I know why all these ships crashed. None of them have steering wheels. Oh, I'm gonna go take this back. <laughs> oh, they don't have they don't, they don't have any uh. There's no ship extended warranties. I, I saw a steering wheel, so I was wrong. That's a quote right there. There's no ship extended warranties. I love the 4D cube. Or you be walking the plank. The tester, I got a 4D cube. My friends. This one. That one. The scavenger pauses on what remains of this ship's deck. Looking out across the waters, he spies something. A glint of blue. Yes, something glowing blue in the mist. And it appears to be moving. That must be the Titan egg. It has to be. So, someone or something has found it and is moving. The scavenger continues with renewed purpose, but with 45% oxygen. You comfy? Quite a new one. I have a theme though. A lot of beeps to go around. A lot of beeps indeed. Beep beep. Beep beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Boop bop. Beep boop beep. Beep beep beep. Scream bop 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 Phone it. Someone's Listen. calling you by the card to send a warranty. I have a phone with music. Bop it. No, it's just numbers in the dead USA VSC pinging each other in their channel. Or in their server. Copyright. Beep beep, I'm a sheep, said beep beep, I'm a sheep. No. <laughs> I told you, so, I know. Someone was just that's playing that song, goddammit. It's, uh, it's a beep. I, I, I realize that, don't worry. Yes, yeah, a beep. <laughs> I have to turn it off for music, and I forgot to turn it back on. This is very, very immersive in beep. Wow, this is a long trick. How many, how much um, oxygen do, do we have now? Someone check up. They are learning. Oh, oxygen. We have 2% yeah. oxygen left. 69%. Oh shit, oh, oxygen shit. left. <laughs> we rose. What? Bruh. One hey, shout out your left. guy. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Subnautica. So, so with the, that percent, does that mean we have to jettison some weight? Uh, I vote dumping no. shadow. Hey. I vote your silence, please. That works too. The scavenger stops here. He can hear voices on the shipwreck. Going by their accent. Tornins. They must have finally landed, but by the way they're talking, they don't have the blue titan egg. In fact, they are talking about spotting an unmanned, powered vessel nearby on their radar and of a monster lair nearby with increased activity. Strange, but then the Tornans move away. The scavenger goes to take a step forward, but he stops. He notices something. In the other direction, away from the shipwreck, down another path, something takes shape. The apparition appears, standing on a distant shore, drifting back and forth on the spot, looking at the scavenger, and the scavenger 
could not bring himself to look away. What is this feeling? What is it? He... He knows who this is. Yes, he knows whose ghost this is. Dad? It's the ghost of his father. My friends, you have a choice to make. Choice number one. Head to the Squidman lair to look for his crew. Or option two. Go to his father's ghost. Oxygen is at 40%, and you have a couple of minutes to decide. Let's get the milk. Head for the Squidman lair. Sorry. <laughs> what, what I, well, I'm assuming in there it sounds better, but let's see what the ghost does. No, what, yeah, what was the name of that choice specifically? I have the feeling. The ghost I mean, the, is there is a chance that there is a chance that the ghost is only just the ghost, and there might not well, actually know, be anything that. that'll come of that. Like we're probably just better off heading towards the squid lair. Unfortunately, I'm keen to agree. I want to find my milk. I lost like ten know, years ago. The correct, going wrong. after the ghost right. sounds most dangerous, which is why I think we should do it. Heading to the squid there is going to be better because we only have forty percent oxygen. If we have bit more oxygen next time, then we can go for the ghost. But for but like for now, we'll we do ghost next go time. Squid there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. This seems yeah, like a major fork. As much as we hated, I I well. Flight be like. My only consideration is that maybe their father knows what they're doing down here and can direct us to the egg. You know what? May I give my thoughts on it? I feel like the father apparition might be a lure for something. Some my friend. Traveler. But I'm willing to take that I chance. I'm curious about it. If you wish to head to the Squidman lair and continue looking for the crew, gather around me. If you wish to pursue the ghost of the scavenger's father, gather around Sheen. We all want to find the milk. You want lore first? Don't fall, I'll do lore lore first. Lore. Don't fall off. Careful. Careful not to fall off the bridge. I repeat, travelers, careful not to fall off the bridge. Damn, yeah. I, want to get I have a bad feeling about the ghost, but okay. I guess we okay. see the majority. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lord. <laughs> as much as it's a bad decision, I want lord. Just jumped off. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't jump off. You will. You will die. And... Somebody will leave. Oh. Travelers. And, uh... Do not toy with the water. It is unforgiving. The scavenger cannot help it. He has to follow the specter. He's not sure why. He's not sure what compels him forward. But what he does know is there must be a reason his father's spirit is showing up here. And so he follows it with swift footsteps. This way, friends. There we go. Lord! I, have to wonder what I love how a lot of people said to go to the lair, but went to the ghost anyway. We just want to find the milk. Bees! Your milk is probably Mom, long, old, brittle, and sour, and fucking chunky by now, okay? I don't care. He said he would get what it ten years ago. Culture? You know what? Look, it's your twelve. It's your. It's your. Asian to yogurt. It's your thirty-minute bathroom trip, okay? I want milk. Uh, so we're gonna I take thirty minutes. Ew! Shut oh up, bitch! Shut up, boy! Shut up! I want diarrhea all day long. 
Really love Taco Bell. I, I agree with the Mr. Yeah. Forty Cube. For me. There is a beautiful. There is like a. There is a magical drink. It's called Pepto Bismol. There's also nah. another magical drink called Magnesium Oxide. No, it's also called laxatives. Mag it's one drink. of those big oh, laxatives you have to show up Bees! Laxatives will make it worse! <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. That's where my 5% comes in. Shadow, you scare me! I forget to turn it back on. <laughs> Why are you giving a thumbs up What the fuck is wrong with me? The scavenger stops. And looks around. Where is it? Ah, he sees it. Between stone pillars within a stone arch to his right, he sees the figure glowing pale green in the gray mist. It is now looking at him, staring. He can feel its anguish twisting in his gut like a nest of writhing worms. Oxygen is at 35%. But does that really matter now? We're gonna get the bed. Like that for shadowing. To the crew, man. I did, I Somebody I come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. Oh, Lord. Okay, not the time for that song. <laughs> Swear to God. Since we have, uh... Since we have... <laughs> Since we're next to ships, there once was a ship that put to seed. I forgot the rest Imagine of we all song. just turn... Imagine we all just turn around and Shane's standing there, and he just magically all of a sudden has full body, and he's just, like, doing kung fu fighting moves. I, 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 I'd love to see that. That I would love to see. That'd be a plot yes. twist. I would love to see yeah. Sheen punch someone in the face. That would be a plot twist, twist right there. New Patreon goal. Get Sheen full body so we can do that. Yes. Sheen is the father. That's the plot twist. Wait, that reminds me. Wait, you mean Sheen is their dad the entire time and he just finally brought home the milk? That would be pretty far. Oh, he's dad. Trajan is also dad. What is Rendizo then? Mom. Uncle. 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 Yes. What? <laughs> no, Rendizo Uncle is a mom. mom. <laughs> no, Rendizo is definitely uncle. Heck yeah, well, Uncle who's Rendizo. Mom? Wait, do so you mean Rendizo to tell me that it was girl? mom that left for the milk 28 years ago? Hashtag feminism. He does have, kind of have that energy. <laughs> Damn. Um, Kinda. Yes, yes, yes. 100% illegal fireworks. All the time, every time. Yes. I love that. Have you seen the pile of vanilla extract he just has just sitting in his room? No, no, got hold Wait, vanilla bag. extract? Yeah. What the oh, hell? Is <laughs> The scavenger stops in view of a cavern. The fog around him thickens, clinging to everything. The air dense. The crewman questions the scavenger. He asks if he really wants to do this. The scavenger is persistent. He can speak with the ghost. His father's spirit is here for a reason. He has to. Do we just lose Trajan? Oh, if Trajan. Trajan. That would be pretty hilarious. Wait. That would be really uh -oh. bad, actually. Yeah, extremely bad. Yeah. That is very bad. Trajan, oh, no! That's the worst that could happen, honestly. Oh, no. no choice right now. It's just... Trajan, no. So who else wants a 10-year-old milk? Oh, no. Bees? No. 
Really? I am you going to pour soy sauce in your soup. Yes. 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 Apologies, my friends. <laughs> His father. What? <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect timing 101. That was amazing. Imposter 101. That's terrible. That's kind of sad. report. Gene. I get no more milk. Is he okay? <laughs> Internet go away again. Traveler. a father figure. Travelers, your attention, please. 10,000 apologies. I repeat, 10,000 apologies. There is good news for you. And that good news is that Trey Jim is on his way back as we speak. Hey. And Whew. further good news is that there is room in the world for him to join. This cool. world player limit is limited unfortunately Trey Jim may or may have not told you that he has tried to contact the world creator and unfortunately we have not been able to contact them and change the world limit 10,000 apologies traveler but the Please. good news is that Trey Jim is back. Guess who's back? Taking a little bit though. Just I see him over, over there. there. Ah, I can see the icon yep. across the way. <laughs> yeah, so can I. I also see L Man chilling over there. Lost. I believe yeah, that he must have crashed at one point too. I might have to. I might have to get like Trey Jim and Sheen our. They're flying. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I have a flying prefab that I can give people if they want it. No, I have one too. I think the two guys also have one. I know she has one. I have this cute guy for flying. great from murder in the hypotenuse, Luca. Did you know that it's forbidden for tour guides to fly? But look at Trajim. There he is, flying like a free little bird. Everyone. <laughs> Listen to me carefully. When Trajim arrives, tell him that, well, he's a little liar because he's a bird that is flying. <laughs> Forbidden oh boy. from doing so. <laughs> Say hello, Trajim, the little bird. Welcome to not not flying back to the tour group. Can I get my push ups? <laughs> No. Uh, something happened to others? Nah. Huh. I think I like nah. the dragon. Actually, actually yeah, travelers, a couple of scratch all that. To crash. Just praise Trajim for being able to transmute into an animal flying form. That's all I ask. That is true. Welcome back. Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome back. Trajim. Metamorphosis. Congratulations. <laughs> Bird cube. Did you know? Bird cube. While you are a bird flying, you are not only the greatest bird, but the most handsomest bird. Aww. He's got good eyes. <laughs> wholesome. This is true. That's one wholesome moaning right there. Nobody asked. Yep. Anyway, my friends. Everybody the asked. The story will continue. Apologies for the delay. His father's spirit is here for a reason. He has to know what it is. And he has so many questions. What is this place? Is he dead, alive, or something else? Has he seen Gramps, the family titan down here? The crewman frowns. He says he can't follow the scavenger any further. He just can't. He says goodbye, 
and leaves to find the blue titan egg on his own. The scavenger watches him walk away. He can't bring himself to care about any of that anymore. He abandons his quest and heads toward the cavern. That's what I thought. Yeah, I, I knew that this wasn't the right choice, but... I have written... Lore. Yeah, it is, it is. Lore! Data mine! Data mine! Data mine! Data mine! Can we fly in cave? Data mine! Mm. Except for the one, the second door. The second door we have yeah, to Yeah, the second in. door gets our crew oh, in there. Oh, oh, this is some kind of door. A big cookie. Yes. No, I'm, really no, I'm saying for, for this route. Like, we for this route, we've no, abandoned the quest. You are a door. A ball. <laughs> A strange round door lies before him. It doesn't look like anything he's seen before. The carvings don't resemble anything in particular, but looking at them makes him feel uneasy, as though he's staring at dozens of closed eyelids. He approaches the central embossed shape and touches it. And with a gentle rumble, it slides open. My friends, this way. I love that gentle. We get to eat the cookie. Nom the cookie. Nom. Ooh. Please don't start uh, this. I will start this. That. Okay, yeah, I recognize this I am from the screenshots. Oh. <laughs> what is this light? I don't know. My D and D senses are going off. No, I might as well cheat the coin up here. Silver or fire or red dragon. Mm. Hopefully, silver. I might actually like cheat. Yep, I'm cheating. The scavenger enters a surreal stone chamber with carved pillars and pedestals, hanging crystals and gems, everything shimmering blackly in the dim light. Oh. He goes to check his air, but decides he doesn't care anymore. He knows now why he's here. The spirit of his father appears before him, somber, sullen, and the scavenger reaches out to touch him. The spirit is not a spirit. It is solid, cold, grimy. The ghost looks into his eyes with sunken, empty holes. Why are you here? Why am I here? The scavenger asks, uncertainty filling his mind. The spectre is silent. For a time. I 
Finally, I have found you, my dear child. Please help me, for I do not wish to die. But this accursed place has sucked all but the last grain of my humanity. The scavenger pulls off his mask and takes a deep breath. The air tastes like bitter nothingness. His father continues. The scavenger looks at his father's ghost. The pale green shifts color and darkens, spilling across the ragged form like ink, until his father is naught but a silhouette before him. Every crystal in the room chimes in unison. The scavenger enters his father's embrace, his mind and spirit broken. His mission abandoned. His consciousness slips away, and he feels what little humanity he has left succumb to the negative ether that drenches this entire area. The scavenger's soul becomes corrupted, monstrous, inhuman. He becomes one of them. And he realizes what the Squidmen are now. He feels his hunger for pure ether increase. Insatiable. And he lowers his gaze down to the cave floor. Through the floor, he looks down. He looks down. And he descends to wreak havoc. Something, something told y'all. Yeah. My friends. Kind of expected. Welcome to the bad ending A of the Scavenger 2. Bad ending. Hmm. Can't expect that one. But let's see what happens. Hell yeah! My friend, let's see what happens. Please. 
actually Soon you will have the floor and all the time in the after party to talk about what happened. But before I hand you back the sheet, and before I suggest a group photo, let me reassure you. <laughs> Strategically, that may have felt like a bad decision. But the scavenger what? got to see his father again. Do not fault the people who voted for this option. Oh, Wouldn't you want the same? <laughs> the scavenger was able to see his father again. I well, see it was a tactical throw to, mm -hmm. to have a no, friends, run next time. Have a I crack think where we are numbers. now is a perfect location for a group photo. Do we have a photographer among us? Don't say it. Who can take a photo of the group? <laughs> no photographers. I will do it. Yes, I will do it. Okay. Two photographers, Lady Juliet, Ethan Memento. Everyone, please line up either side of me, facing the way we came in. Ether and Juliet, please guide us. Oh God, my legs! This is as good as I get without getting the people. I'm between the two biggest the pillars there, like trying to stay within the pillar. Right. Between the, the pillars, friends. Try to do that. It's all good. Depending on the way. Yeah. Make sure to have everyone's right. avatar shown as well. Don't right. need anyone. Just move to your left. I don't care though. Tricky, you too. You do need to move it. They're good. Or... Over. Wait. Okay, you're good. Lady Juliet, come on in. Oh, here oh, comes no, someone. No, okay. I got one. Oh, yeah. oh, here comes El, man. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. The photo's not wow. good. Oh, come on. Okay. Join us, El. We need everyone in here. Get in here. Go on, just, uh, just Lady, come on. Apparently, Mirror Chat didn't want the me to enjoy the on the story. Yeah, no, 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 come on, come on. Which end did we get? Yeah. On, the count of three, on, on the count of three, we're all saying, One of us. 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 Imagine having them kind of thing. Please, there's a very scary thing. I didn't know you could make it. One of us, bro. One of us, bro. One of us, bro. Like a week. One of us, bro. Yeah, no, no, no. Are you good? Are you good? Jeremy, Travis says, thank you. Subscription. Uh, it's not something, uh, you want to cancel. It's the group chat, so that's good. Right. Also, I'm doing a thing that they got. Enough money. 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 Yeah, all you heard was I've permanent. Got a <laughs> Which is what I literally just did. You're <laughs> missing some much. Oh, you weren't part of it, bad. so it's not cool enough. <laughs> no, look at me, Shadow. You are military ass in the, in the photo. <laughs> Get over here, Major. <laughs> Too late, everyone has disturbed. Travelers, your attention, please. Hello there, and welcome to the In the Tour. Travelers. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Trey Jim, the tour guide. A mighty Trey with that sexy voice. Travelers, yeah. thank you for joining us on our tour tonight. 10,000 thank yous for joining us on the limited spacing. Once again, travelers, we apologize. This world has a hard cap of 32 people. And we have tried 
to contact the world creator. But it has been in vain. And thus we will run this tour many times so that everyone has a chance to experience all endings of the story. Again, 10,000 apologies. Travelers, if you enjoyed what we did tonight, know this. We do this for fun. We do this for free. We do this for you. We do ask one thing in return, and that is that you join our growing Discord community. The link to the Discord is my status in VR chat. And Trajim's status as well. Go there, post the thoughts from today's tour, post the photos that you took, and tell everyone what you thought. Tell everyone what you think the path to the good ending is. And tell everyone what you think all of this really means, and how all of it's really connected. Oh, my uh, make sure and find out. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> Finally, travelers, if you wish to support us and you wish to pay money, energy, efficient packets to what would fuel our creations. That's a lame explanation for dollars. And we have a Patreon. If you join our Patreon, it is only $3 per month. And if you pay $3 a month, you will support us to pay those world creators, to pay those artists that create the music of our tours. To find the link to our Patreon, go to the info channel of our discord finally travelers in about five minutes we will open Close a portal fires. to the after party back to the rendezvous the headquarters of VR travelers there are secrets in the rendezvous that have remained for years there are still secrets to this day that have not been discovered. Wait, what? what? Can we some of those out? There are veterans that yeah. have come to the tour guides that have explained <laughs> the numbers <laughs> and the codex and the ciphers that they have decoded. And we have <laughs> smiled and told them that they are correct. But newcomers, travelers, know this the rendezvous still has more than one secret uncovered and the portal to it will open in about five minutes <laughs> until then the floor is yours we can see how long this oh mine before VR chat says no get out of here uh, what if I just... Uh, should trade a lot of red upside down? Yeah, it's fine. I've never come on. Give it to you. Cool. Okay, we'll start. 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 We'll start